All right. We're down here in San Antonio with the head coach of the UTSA Rover Runners, Pat Hallmark. Coach, how do you feel about the move to the American? Oh, we feel good about it. You know, Conference USA was a competitive league, um, but, but we think the Americans is going to be a little more competitive. Um, certainly some good clubs over there. East Carolina, I think, clearly is um, the leader of the pack, at least the last couple years. So those guys are going to be tough, and there's some other good ones in the league as well. Absolutely. And, Coach, uh, how do you guys build on the success of the last two seasons? I mean, you guys going to Southern Miss, you going to A&M this past year, you got wins over Stanford. Everybody had you ranked coming into that Dallas Baptist series. How you keep that success going, Coach? Um, It sounds kind of boring, but you play good ball, which, which to, to, to us it means you throw strikes. You make the plays you're supposed to make on defense. You make the routine play, and then you fight at the plate. Um, you know, the big gaudy numbers at the plate. Hopefully we got a few guys that can do that, but uh, the expectation is just you fight. You draw a walk when it's there. You fight with two strikes. Um, if we do those three things, we're going to win a few games, and, and then based on however much talent we have, we'll, we'll dictate whether we can you know, maybe get to 40 wins or, or not. But, uh, yeah, just playing good old-fashioned good baseball. Uh, don't walk them, make the routine play, and fight at the plate. That's what I hope we do. And, uh, Coach, have y'all got an update on uh, facilities and how's that situation going? As They're doing as a little bit, not not as much as I'd like, um, but but there'll be some upgrades a little bit here in the winter with the stands. Um, okay. Yeah, but I'm, I'm ready for a, for a complete overhaul over here. But, right. but no, uh, Dr. Campos is doing a heck of a job and her people um, – you know, they, they she's done wonderful things here with football and some other sports, soccer, and and uh, we're on the list. We're just not not quite as high as I'd like to be. <laughs> well, y'all keep winning. Uh, football better watch out. You if if Nelson Wolf in use that day, y'all might have to use the Alamo Dome for a reason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hopefully that's the. I try to look, look. I you know we try to just control what we can control, which is is again throw strikes, catch the ball, and fight at the plate. Um, and and, and it's still. Look, this baseball field right here is still better than the fields I played on back in the day. So Absolutely. Um, we're grateful to have what we have. Absolutely. But it would be great to see people have that problem when they come here, like when you go to an ECU. Yes, sir. They gave Texas a run for their money. Yeah. yeah. And and some fun questions, Coach. Now, I don't know about you. I know you're a Texas guy, but I'm originally from Philly. I've lived in Texas, obviously Florida. But I'm sorry, Coach. I'm going with the Astros. And the Phillies in the World Series again. And hopefully Dusty Baker can retire with his second World Series. But I know, speaking to some of your players, that's probably not realistic. Orioles got over 100 wins. That's hard to do, my goodness. Atlanta Braves smoking hot over 100 wins. Who does Coach Hallmark have in his World Series in 2023? We didn't even mention him. We, we actually, it's funny, you had, just today, yesterday I sent a message to the guys and send them all a bracket. So we're going to do a – we do every year we do an MLB, sort of like the NCAA tournament, an MLB bracket. So all the guys that filled them out, they had to get them to me by 2 o'clock today because the playoffs were starting at 3 Eastern. So anyway, yeah, uh, my bracket's listening. got the Dodgers. And I'm a huge Astro fan. But I got a former player uh, on the bench coaching for the Dodgers who I absolutely love, and and he's a big part of what they do in terms of game planning. So my money's on, on the Dodgers and Danny Lehman. Uh, that's the guy I'm talking about. So – um, surprise you a little bit because I'm a diehard Astro fan. And who, who's who's going to be their opponent? Uh, I got the Orioles. I hate to say it because I'm from Houston, but the, the Strohs have had trouble with the Orioles this season. Um, so I got Dodgers and Orioles and Dodgers and six is how my bracket breaks down. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys usually get together and have like a, a team night during the World Series during the playoffs? We'll do something at the end for the winter. You know, we can't bet on it. There's no money involved, but we right. can, we can give them some kind of special treatment at practice. So every year the, the, the one player that wins it will get a – get a hurrah or something at practice. So just kind of something light and fun that guys like to do. Yeah, no, like any, like, team activities? Because y'all, like, all meet somewhere and watch the game, have we dinner? No, we do you know. some at the end of the – at the end of the fall, we do that at the for the Fall World Series, the final game where the losing team has to get the dinner of the winning team. But but for the MLB playoffs, we just do the bracket. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you invited me out today, Coach. But, yeah, I was – I was sneak listening to the radio on the way here because it's some it's some it's some good games Start, starting up. Yeah, this is, where the, this is where baseball games get fun. Every yes. pitch matters. It's pretty fun. Extremely yeah. fun. Well, coach, I'm gonna stick around. I appreciate you having me, man. Can c- continued success in the future. Thank you very much. All right.